Hi everyone, so welcome to part 4 of this video where we are going to learn how you can make predictions using the decision tree class you have written. So let's uh, get back to the code and complete our decision tree classifier, right? And then we are going to see how you can make predictions as well, right? So first of all, I need to define one predict method in my class which will get some testing data on which I want to make predictions and here I will see if the whatever is the key or whatever is the column name given at the root node and in that column in the testing set if that value is greater than the threshold value which is in the decision node I will uh, go on to the right hand side right and we will see if okay so we will go to right and if the right child does not exist somehow it the current node is a leaf node then we are going to return the target at that node so if self dot right as none right the right node does not exist then return self dot target it is going to be a prediction right otherwise we are going to recursively call on the right subtree to get the right value right so return self dot right dot predict so you can see it is a recursive call you are kind of doing a, a recursive traversal of the tree right and you pass your testing data right else what you can do if self dot left is none right which means the left child does not exist right is none right and here also you have to return whatever is the value whatever is the target at the current node otherwise recursively go on to the left hand side self dot left dot predict and test right that's it so self dot left is the recursive call to the left subtree and you call the predict method of the left subtree right so this is how easy it is to build the predict method right and for your quick recap what i am doing here is if you get a test example and let's say at the root node the f key is 6 so you will see if test of 6 is 0 or 1 let's say it is greater than 0.5 which means it is let's say female so you call on the right hand side and if the right side does not exist you return the majority prediction from here right which is given in the target and if it is there you make a call on to this node and here let's say you have some other feature let's say income you check what is the income of this person if it is greater less than threshold you make a call on left hand side and so on right okay so when you are going to create decision tree you are going to create uh, three sets one is training set which is given validation set this is sometimes it is given sometimes it is not so you can make a split out of training set maybe 20 percent data is for validation something like that and you, you you have a test set which you can download from the internet but for that you have to upload predict predictions to the Kaggle right so you can make your own test set as also so in my current example I'm not doing any kind of validation it, generally this data set is needed to tune what should be the ideal depth right so you, you, you can do validation on your own. So I'm just going to make two sets. One is for training, one is for testing. So let me split all my examples into two sets. So let's say 70% of the data I'm going to use for uh, training and 30% I'm going to use for testing, right? So I'm just splitting data into two parts and we also need to reset the index for the test data and since it is a pandas data frame okay and let us see what is uh, train data dot shape and test data dot shape okay so 623 rows for training and 268 rows for testing and let us create one decision tree object and let us call the train method with train data as input 
to the treatment so it is while it is training and it will take some time right in the meanwhile let us write some code uh, which <coughs> okay let us uh, Still working, right? Okay, so training is now over. So if I want to see what is uh, decision tree dot f key which is the key at the root node so you can see it is x and what is the f value it should be 0.5 oh, f val right it should be f val right and if you want to see what is the left node you can have uh, dt dot left dot f key and you can see what is the right key so in the left you have passenger class right and on the right hand side the split is made according to fair right so you have a tree in which you have first you see the sex then you see if you if it is a male or female so you see passenger class but for the other way you see what is the fair right and then so on right so it build, builds a very complex tree out of this and now what i need to do i need to see what are the predictions right okay so why predictions for let's say test data i want to compute so for ix in range test data dot shape zero let us see what is the test accuracy so why predictions will call the predict method which will get one example so test data dot ix right so ith for the ith example i am going to see what it is predicting so you can see why prediction is a array of dead and survive right so what we can do we can convert this array into uh, zero one notation using label encoder right so y actual let us also see what is y actual which is test data of output column right this is your y actual right output uh, columns right okay so print y actual now you can see uh, y actual was 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and here we have uh, dead 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 survived so clearly you can see uh, most likely dead is mapped with 0 and survived is mapped with 1 so it, yeah that is what we did in the mapping so what you can do you can just compare your entries and compute accuracy right so i'm again going to encode using label encoder so y predictions equals to le dot fit transform and here you give y predictions and let us see yeah so it has uh, mapped your dead with zero and survived with one and let us see what is y predicted dot shape and y actual dot shape okay so let us reshape y actual to match with the y predicted shape oh so it is going to be y actual dot reshape and here i give minus one comma okay it is a data frame all right so we cannot shape it but y predicted we can shape right so you can say y predicted equals to np array y predicted or you can make a numpy array from uh, data frame as well right dot reshape and shape is minus one comma one 
so now the shapes are going to match and you can find accuracy using broadcasting so accuracy is equal to y predicted equals to y actual and divided by y predicted dot shape zero and let us see what is the test accuracy uh oh sorry this should be some some of these np dot sum So let me just verify what we are doing here. Okay, so if I do np dot sum, okay, it is two one nine. Mm. So divided by y predicted dot shape zero okay. accuracy. So you can see the test accuracy is eighty one percent, which is quite good, and that's how you you implement decision trees, right? So I hope you um, got to learn lot of new concepts in this video, and you won't have any confusion. Uh, till now and if you have any doubts please uh, feel free to use discuss and i will get back to them right so thanks a lot guys for uh, watching this video see you in the next video where we will try to work on the same data set using sklearning